stopped by to say hello. No, Curtis. <laughs> well, I was at um, Luke Spencer's memorial and um, gave me some food for thought. Care to share? Well, while I was sitting there, I was thinking about Marshall's cardiac incident and what it would have meant if he'd have died and if I'd thrown away the only time that I would have ever gotten to get to know him. Hello, Marshall. Shouldn't you be at home, resting? Dr. Robinson, I'm glad I ran into you. I wanted to say thank you for all the help with my little episode last night. I was happy to help. But I suppose you're really here to see Curtis. Now, look, I understand that it's not my place to get involved, but it seems to me the way you go about things, you can come across a little forward. Curtis asked you for space. Uh, Portia. That's okay. I asked for Marshall to stop by. Look on your face, you have surprised the design. Curtis asked me to come. Surprised and grateful. I gotta admit, I thought it might take a couple of days. You know, given that you might need some time to recover. Either way, I'm just glad you're here all the same. So, I've been doing some thinking since the hospital. I confided with a friend about what you told me about being in hiding. Curtis, I warned you. This is a guy I trust. Anyway, we got to talking. And it made me realize that demanding an answer from you could put our family in jeopardy. I can see why you might think that. I don't like it, but I'm willing not to push this. For now. Thank you, Curtis. Thank you for your understanding. I'm gonna leave you two alone now. I don't wanna get in the way of your date now. You weren't. I was actually just leaving. You are? Why don't you have a great night with your father? Good night, Marshall. And good night, Portia. Oh, thank you. Tequila man, are you? Yeah, I was just, uh, just noticing you, Brian. Top of the line, you got good taste. I cannot tell you how many times I've been warned that organized crime was going to try to muscle me out of my nightclub. What are you trying to say, son? I'm saying that I know there's a lot of gray areas about your past. And if you got mixed up with some not-so-good people, I know that it may not have been willingly. I'm not saying I get it. I'm saying I'm trying to. Does that make any sense? Yeah, it does.